Hi guys, it's Stephanie, and I, uh, first of all, want to uh, apologize for the portrait um, video, but with this steamer being so tall and skinny, I couldn't figure out how to do it in landscape without cutting everything off. So if you would put up with that, I'd really appreciate it. Um, I bought this Jiffy steamer probably about a year, year and a half ago, and I'm really, really pleased with it. I used to work in retail and we used the industrial size. So the base um, was probably three or four times as large. But so this one is um, for, I guess, for a really small retailer or for home use. Um, I think that the quality and the, the craftsmanship um, make it worth its price because it's not inexpensive. I'm not going to be the first one to tell you that it isn't. But overall, if you sell a lot of clothes and you think you're uh, going to do it for a while, this thing is going to last for a good long time. The ones in retail can last. I've seen ones that are 10, 15, even 20 years old and they're still going strong. Let me show you the base because that's uh, basically the major part of it. And this is, let's see, it just says Jiffy. Um, it's pretty small, it's easy to roll around. It's on wheels, it doesn't weigh particularly a lot, although I don't have to uh, pick it up. This is really simple um, to fill. You do have to use distilled water. So, oh, look at all my, um, <laughs> that's all my dog's food that I keep hidden, but I guess you guys can see it now. Um, anyways, so you just uh, fill it up this easily. I'm trying to do this with one hand. I think it holds a gallon, but don't quote me on that. Um, pour it, pour it in, and then you put it back on. Hopefully it will go quickly. Okay, and this is basically a locking mechanism. It's sort of on a spring, so when you're turning it over, it shouldn't spill out. This uh, is a small um, reservoir. You just flip it back over. And voila, you're done. And obviously you can easily see when you're about to run out of water. Now, I'm gonna show you something. Oop, there's my dog. Um, this is a plastic handle. It's extremely light, uh, but it gets the job done. I, uh, and then it just hooks up at the top. Now here's something that I should point out to you. I, um, when I bought this thing, I originally bought the other handle and it's really, um, it's made out of metal. It's fairly heavy. And the reason I bought it was because I thought, um, I could use it also, uh, in a way to iron, which is basically why it is. Um, made out of metal so that you if you want to get out heavy uh, wrinkles out of heavier fabrics maybe drapery fabrics uh, and you can put it on a bed and then you can sort of slide back and forth it's going to work like an iron but I got really really frustrated with it so I went back and purchased the plastic one I showed you which probably was a mistake on my part. So um, unless you absolutely think you're gonna use the metal handle, I probably would stay away from it. Um, but it's up to you. And know that you can always um, purchase the substitute and they're really, really easy to interchange. Uh, all you do is unscrew it and you put the, the other one on and boom, you're there. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk to you about is, as I'm moving you around with the camera, I often um, will spray this on some of my fabrics and steam on top of it. It seems to help, and it also seems to, sometimes there's an odor, so I will use the two, uh, I will use the water, the steam, and then I will use uh, a wrinkle releaser as well, so, uh, try that and then um, especially with this uh, with this handle and with the metal I found that I would get it would 
uh, gets so hot it would almost burn. So I use sometimes when I get uh, tired and I'm just my feel like um, the steam is just way too hot. I will slip on a glove. A uh, this is anti steam oven glove, but you know any kind of um, kitchen glove that you have would would work fine. But I want you to, to be aware that the steam is very hot and I know that sounds kind of like duh, but uh, you can um, protect yourself and keep going. So think about that as well. I'm going to put a link uh, to everything in the um, description below. Um, it's on Amazon and uh, I, you know, give it a try. If it's too expensive, I totally understand. And I'm going to do another video of another um, handheld steamer that I used for years before I bought the Jiffy. So uh, give this a thumbs up if you liked it. Put a comment uh, if you use this uh, steamer or if you have another alternative to suggest. And I will catch you guys later. Bye.